Is This a Great State or What? is sponsored by We Oki. We got you, Oklahoma. Well, welcome back. You can still see them dotting the Oklahoma landscape. We're talking about old barns, and a lot of them are more than a century old now. They're so cool. So how many are left? Well, Galen Culver introduces us to an OSU geography professor who wants to know that more than anyone else. Topographical maps in the back roads of Oklahoma. Brad Bays has scanned them all and driven most, looking for relics of agricultural past. The utilitarian, but simply beautiful, Oklahoma barn. What fascinates me, is probably more than anything, is the, the love that people have uh, for them and the affinity that people have for them, especially if they grew up in the area and they've seen it all their life. It's been more than 10 years since Brad started a survey for the State Historic Preservation Office to document structures like this one near Mulhall, built of sandstone right after the run of 89. Or these two west of Stillwater, built around statehood, one as a dairy, the other for farm horses. Most of the barns, and, and these included, aren't used for the same purpose that originally they were. It was a five-year project. Bayes spent weekends and time off scanning horizons and asking questions. His survey eventually included more than 700 structures, a hundred of them important enough to be included on the National Historic Register. There are many, many out there, and all that I ever did was sample them. His survey is still on record, added to and subtracted over the years. Barnes had their heyday, so to speak, from settlement to right after World War II when tractors replaced the horses and round balers removed the need for haylofts. That's why they're, so, they're dying away. That's why they're disappearing is because they, they've lost their function and a lot of times they've become more of a liability to the property owner. From the oldest log barns of northeast Oklahoma to the stone structures in north central to huge cotton barns in the southwest. Some sag with their age like old horses. Many of the structures Bays took photos of are already gone. Those that are left still provide a kind of window to the past. Their timbers or stones tell stories of the hard work it took to feed the world a century ago. From somewhere near Stillwater, Galen Culver, News 4. Is this a great state or what? Our granddad was a cattle rancher east of Norman, had a barn. We used to love running around that thing as kids. The Oklahoma Historical Society has records on its website, including barns in various regions. Bays also holds regular webinars on the subject. We have links to both at KFOR.com.